Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. All listening over back and it's not raining but it's pouring in the Triple C house. Uh, now we can effectively say that the opposition party, that is the mainstream opposition party, which has all along been led by advocate Nelson Chamisa, has all but collapsed. Because what is happening right now is that there seems to be no end in sight unless and until the court rules otherwise on these recalls we are likely to see them uh, totally collapsing the party because following the members of parliament that were recalled by the so-called interim secretary of the party or rather self-imposed secretary general of the party uh, Mr. Sengezo Chabangu, uh, he has also gone on to recall nine councillors in Harare, including the mayor, Ian Makone, and his deputy. He has not ended there, as we told you earlier on today, that more recalls are coming, and it seems as if this uh, has opened the floodgate. What the Speaker of Parliament did when he first responded to the first recalls, and what the court did when they ruled against triple c members of parliament 14 of them who had gone to court in the Arari high court to try and reverse the recalls so what the court did to them ruling against them has actually opened the floodgates for more recalls and for more abuse of not only power within triple c but also of abuse of taxpayers money because these recalls will ultimately cost the state a lot of money to run by elections which are also likely uh, to result in further recalls because triple c uh, councillors and mps who have been recalled are adamant that they will continue to use the name of the party uh, in any by election which means that for every by elections there's going to be uh, another recall and for every recall, there's going to be more money forked out. For example, in the just-ended uh, nomination court sittings, uh, the ZEC was advanced 5.3 million US dollars to conduct the elections uh, that are going to be held on the 9th of December. That is a lot of money which could have gone a long way uh, in effecting service delivery, in uh, improving the lives of citizens but we had one of the councillors of triple c in bulawa saying that declaring in fact that for as long as they continue to be recalled they will continue to use that same name it means that the government is going to use taxpayers money and he wasn't saying this with any form of remorse and java who seems to be going all out now it's a gloves of of uh, fight he has recalled now 60 more councillors of triple c across the country and the letter was written uh on the 7th of november so this means that uh, he is he has in total recalled 69 councillors across zimbabwe he has recalled uh in Kwekwe city council uh dr henry Matsorera of Ward 10, Melo Tichikarande of Ward 5, Simon Machiso of Ward 9, in Mutare City Council, Sophia Kwasira, Ward 8, Cloud Nengomasha, Ward 12, Simon Mapuire, uh, Ward 5, uh, Cherezi Town Council, Roger Chikonye, Ward 7, Musinga, Sh Musinga Shari, Musinga Shari, Ward 6, uh, Chepkutu Municipal Council, Edward Tseka, Ward 12, Alice Kulande, Ward 5, Lois Tikirigi, Ward 9, uh, Chinoi Municipal Council, Linion Varandeni, Ward 9, Love More, Kwau, Kuakumire, Ward 10, Daik Mukumbi, Ward 12, Florence Masache, Piara Council, Dokas Marunga, Piara Council, in Wurungwe Council, he has recalled Tichawona Ungwariri, Ward 1, Felicitas Mafumo, uh, Piara Council in Norton Municipal, he has recalled, Norton Municipal uh, Council, he has recalled Eshweti Chamunong 
kwa chamunokwa ward 11 jonathan chikaponya ward 12 patience chikodora PR Council, Rosemary Daliga, PR Council in Victoria Falls Town Council, he has recalled Priscilla Mshanga of Ward 8, uh, Daniel Moyo of Ward 11, Ephias Mambume, Ward 1, Mpunzimpofu of Ward 9, Maria Ndlovu, a PR Councilor, Mabugani Ndlovu, a PR Councilor, and then in Tagawira Rural District Council, he has recalled Wanda Chiverengo of Ward 14, uh, in Binga North RTC has called Jimmy Siambwe Mulea. So these are going to open uh, another door for by elections. And we know that whenever there, are, there is money that is being released for these issues, there is also going to be money being stolen. So now what this effectively means uh, is that there is also a going to be a hell lot of money which is going to be spent on this uh, and then there is also uh, a round a new round of parliamentary recalls which are going to happen today uh, that is what we are getting from sources within triple c that the ex wilting uh Chabang has already prepared names of parliamentarians that he wants to recall today and these include uh Gift Ostalo Siziba, who has been very vocal against this man, who has been saying that uh, Chavangu uh, is being used, he has been saying a lot of things about this guy and disowning him. So there is going to be that, uh, according to what we are told, a number of further recalls of parliamentarians. So what this means is that Zimbabwe is going to waste a lot of the taxpayers' money at a time when Zimbabwe needs so much uh, in terms of uh, service delivery in terms of improving uh, as I said before the lives of the citizens so uh, this is going to be one of those craziest craziest five years after an election in Zimbabwe uh, meanwhile Triple C whose leader Nelson Chamisa has been conspicuous uh, with his silence in all these recalls has issued a, 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 a statement uh, which is signed by gift ostalo who is the deputy uh, national spokesperson of the party uh, is signed 9 november which is today uh, it reads the citizens coalition for change party has been made aware of another viral letter circulating on social media purportedly penned by the imposter sengezo chavang falsely claiming to represent our movement and indicating the recall for our rare based councillors including mayor ian makon and his deputy kutsai katsombe in light of these developments the triple c finds itself finds it necessary to assert the facts unequivocally. In a firm and res resolute move, the Triple C took legal action against Chabang on, in October 2023, effectively restraining him from falsely representing the Triple C. The legal dispute is ongoing, and Chabang filed an appearance to defend on 8 November, indicating his intention to contest the lawsuit. However, he has not yet presented a formal defense. Our legal representatives are actively engaging in discussions with the Speaker of Parliament, President of the Senate, and Minister of Local Government to inform them about the ongoing legal battles concerning these unwarranted recalls. These discussions emphasize the importance uh, of honoring and re respecting our court processes while disregarding any spurious communications. We firmly believe that all stakeholders will be guided by the principles of justice and legality in their actions. Consequently, we urge our steadfast supporters to remain calm. Our cause is undeniably just and we will prevail. So that's the press statement uh, released by Gift Ostalo Siziba. Uh, but now, what this means is that it's going to be a long protracted battle as we have previously said that these guys are going to go to court the courts will take very long to determine who indeed is in charge of triple c because any party without membership cards without any membership register without any structures this uh, anyone can just wake up and claim that they are this or that in triple c already there is a letter which is unverified which is also uh doing the rounds on social media, claiming to have been written by someone purporting to be the Triple C chairperson, and he claims that he has uh, fired Sengezo Chabang from the party, and this is purportedly written to the local government minister, uh, 
stating that uh, Chabangu has been fired from Triple C and therefore nothing that comes from him should be entertained. And the letter was written before uh, Chabangu wrote to the same local government minister recalling Makone and others. It's like it was written on the 5th or 6th uh, of this month. So at the end of the day, as we have been saying, this has become a circus. It effectively means that there is no more triple C unless and until the courts intervene and rule against Chabang. For as long as the courts continue to rule in the manner that they did last time in favor of Chabang, it means that these recalls are going to continue. It means that triple C has effectively split or it has effectively died and that Nelson Chamisa and those who are still in support of him should move on and form another party because they have lost this one. Uh, and it means also that those who are going to contest the by-elections under the name Triple C, having been previously recalled by Chabang, might either be banned by the courts or win and be recalled again. So it's a serious circus. It's a, a, a very uh, worrying very much worrying uh, turn of events involving Triple C, especially after they have uh, vaunted much this uh, so called strategic ambiguity of theirs, which has left them uh, porous, which has left them susceptible to abuse. Uh, of office to abuse of the party and abuse eventually of Zimbabweans as a people as well as abuse of the country Zimbabwe uh, because the resources continue instead of being uh, channeled towards notable causes, towards worthy causes of improving the lives of the people. They are now being wasted on by-elections, in court action, and in a number of other issues while service delivery also is lagging behind because when you have recalled a whole mayor and his deputy, you are actually saying that uh, service cannot go ahead or it cannot be smooth unless and until a new mayor has been elected and we're looking at Chava also recalling whoever is going to be elected as a mayor. He has already uh, incapacitated the Victoria Falls uh, town council by recalling more than six councillors there, which means that nothing can be done in Victoria Falls unless and until the by-elections are going to be, uh, have been held. And we're not going to have these uh, by-elections for the new round of recalls being held anytime soon. So now what is going to happen is that Zimbabwe has been turned into a complete circus. We are going to come back and update you as and when there is something new, but this is what is happening right now. Triple C has been turned into a joke. Zimbabwean politics has been turned into a joke. Zimbabwean parliament and Zimbabwean councils have all been turned into a joke. Even Zimbabweans themselves, the voters, have been uh, turned into serious a serious joke. There is no service delivery that is going to be expanded to them or extended to them. There is nothing that is going to be done to improve their lives as people continue to heckle over useless positions, continue to fight over useless positions uh, while uh, dancing on the pain that the people are following, uh, are, are feeling. So at the end of the day, we're experiencing all this pain. We are hoping that at least something is going to come out of a, a lack of parliamentary majority or two-thirds majority by ZANU-PF. But it seems that uh, all this gain that had been done by Triple C is going to be reversed and people are going to lose more uh, faith in the opposition, not only in Triple C, but also uh, in every other opposition party and as well as in voting itself. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.